What's up? It's me, DWC, and we're back again with another MLB The Show 20 video. And today I'm going to be going through what I used to do back in the day when I posted a few MLB The Show videos, which is I'm going to be going into franchise and going through the fastest players in this year's game. It's just a quick and easy video to start the year, and it'll give you a bit of information for your franchise modes if you're looking for fast players and base stealers. And these stats will also, they might not be identical in Diamond Dynasty, but they will carry over. So the players you see in this video will also be very quick players, obviously, in Diamond Dynasty. So if you're looking for bench runners in DD and stuff like that, you can also use the players that pop up in this video. So we're going to go into Franchise. We're going to start new. We're going to load our saved rosters from the last video. Team doesn't matter, so we're just going to roll with the Red Sox. We're going to advance, advance, and jump into the regular season. And then we're going to go over, once it loads, we will go over to the Acquisitions tab. We will go Player Search. And we're going to go in and we're going to put the minimum age, leave it at 18, but we're going to put the maximum age at 45. Because you never know, there might be some old players still in the league that are quick. We're going to go down to attribute number one, and we're going to change it to speed. And we will put the minimum as 90 speed. And overall minimum, we're going to leave empty. So we got speed, minimum of 90, and a maximum of 99. And we'll see how many options we get back. And there is quite a few. But we're not going to look at any of the low-class guys in depth. We're just going to quickly go over them. So starting off, we got Terrence Gore. Everybody knows he's quick. 94 speed, 90 stealing. Pete Hutton, 98 speed and 86 stealing. Luis Carrasco, Mac McMillan, James Wong, Patrick Seaver, David Alvarez, Tom Gutierrez, Tony Quintana, Antoine Frazier, Chuck Horton, Ray Saucedo, Jose Villarreal, Manuel Pineda, Elmer Severantes, Socrates Brito, and I'm going to get more in depth as we get up to the players that we know more. So probably around the 70s we'll start actually going in. G. Kirkpatrick, Magnaris Sierra, Ken Geringer, Greg Winters, Isaac Galloway, Eric Jenkins, Frederick Campillo, Geraldo Murillo, Michael Ciani is listed as a top prospect, so we will look at him. So he has the base of 90 speed. His stealing isn't that great, so we're just going to quickly move on. B potential. Dean, 93 speed. Hernandez. Jorge Mateo is a good young player. He's got his actual face in the game, which is nice. 92 speed, 79 stealing, 81 base running aggressiveness. So he's got some good base running stats there to start off. Obviously low overall, but he can jump up. We have Tim LoCastro, who is listed as the fastest runner in baseball on, I believe, MLB.com. Uh, so he has 99 speed and 99 stealing. Nothing else is that great. His fielding is okay. His arm strength is terrible, though. But he does play second base, so it doesn't matter all that much. But 99 speed, 99 stealing, and 91 base running aggressiveness. Then we got Adam Engel, Roman Quinn, Miles Straw, Isaiah Larkin, Jason Dominguez, Greg Jones, Tyler O'Neill, young player for the Cardinals, 94 speed. Garrett Hampson for the Rockies, 96 speed. Luis Robert for the White Sox, a good young prospect coming up, has 92 speed. Byron Buxton, one of the fastest players in the game without a doubt, is 97 speed, 79 stealing, and 75 base running aggressiveness. He has 94 fielding and 92 arm strength also. The hitting for Buxton has never been that great, but his fielding and his speed is what keeps him around and keeps him a serviceable player. He's a really good fielder, really quick, so if you want to take a chance on him in Diamond Dynasty or in your franchise, 
probably more likely to be franchise and see if he can develop some contact hitting, then I would suggest doing that because the speed and the fielding are phenomenal. And then you have A. Mondesi, who has also really good fielding at the shortstop position. His contact is decent, nothing special, but his speed, he has 94 speed, 99 stealing, and 95 base running aggressiveness. And then you have Trey Turner with 98 speed, 92 stealing, 99 base running aggressiveness. His fielding's okay. He has really good contact at the shortstop position. So that's a really good player to target in either Diamond Dynasty or Franchise if you can make a trade for him or pick him up in DD. But the top guys for speed in MLB The Show 20 are looking like they're Trey Turner. Byron Buxton, and these are usable players I'm talking about here, and obviously Tim LoCastro, because hitting-wise, he may not be usable, but off the bench, there's no way you can deny that he is a really good player coming off the bench and throwing him in a pinch running position. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm going to bump down the min a little bit to 85 and just give you an idea of other high-level players that have good speed. And not elite speed. So we'll just bump it down to 85 and see who else pops up. So right there you have Ronald Acuna Jr. He has 86 speed. Good fielding. Really good arm strength and arm accuracy. Obviously has really good hitting stats. 97 overall at 22 years old. Probably not going to be able to trade for him in franchise. But you can try to pick him up if you have the stubs for that in Diamond Dynasty. Obviously, a really, really solid player. Kevin Kiermeyer has 86 speed. Good fielder, good speed. Hitting, again, similar to Buxton. Has never been that special. But the fielding and the speed are definitely there. Oscar Mercado, 25 years old, 79 overall. He has 87 speed for the Indians. Nick Senzel has 86 speed, a good young player for the Reds, 24 years old, 76 overall. Harrison Bader has 87 speed for the Cardinals, also has really good fielding stats, 99 fielding, 99 reaction with that 87 speed is really, really good. The hitting, again for him, is not very good, but... If you were to pick him up in a franchise mode, you could definitely try and train up those contact hitting stats. He is a B potential, he's 25, so he still has time to grow for you franchise players. So, could definitely be a target right there at 75 with the good fielding and the good speed. And he does have a little bit of power too. Lionel Shields has 87 speed for the Indians. So, a couple Indians players here just a tick below the 90 base cap that we put in to start off with. And Malik Smith has 86 speed, 96 stealing, so really strong stealing stats there for Malik Smith. Drew Jackson, Tyler O'Neill, and then we're back down to most of the other players that we already seen. Bradley Zimmer is also in there with the 86. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to throw in stealing into this so we can see who the best base stealers are. Not really dependent on speed, but the best stealers regardless of speed. So we're going to quickly check that out as well. So Trey Turner's there again with 90 stealing. Mondesi's there with 99 stealing. Malik Smith is there with 96 stealing. Billy Hamilton shows up for stealers. He would have been in the speed if I went down a little bit further. Billy Hamilton's always been one of the fastest guys. 87 speed, 99 stealing. Rajay Davis down there as a free agent. We're going to bump it down a tiny bit more and see if there's any more top-level players who are really good at stealing, but maybe not quite the quickest. Anyone else pop up? There's D. Gordon, 72 speed, 86 stealing. Keon Broxton has 87 stealing, 84 speed, so he's got good speed there. His hitting stats look really, really bad, though. I don't see anybody using him. Uh, we'll take it down just another notch, and then we'll leave it there. Jonathan Villar, 82 speed, 80 stealing on the Marlins. His card is looking really good this year. I'm not sure how he is a 91 overall 
after his year last year. I guess his power numbers came up a little bit. He had 40 stolen bases with Baltimore. And he did have a pretty good average and just under 800 OPS. So I guess he did have a good year. I'm just not sure if 91 makes sense for him. But I guess it's just how the stats end up balancing out. Um, also popping up is a free agent guy who I am not familiar with. And that seems to be like everybody that is notable. So there you have it. There are all your top base stealers and fastest players in MLB The Show 20. The highlights being Trey Turner, Mondesi, Acuna Jr., obviously, because he's a really, really good player. Trey Turner, Byron Buxton, and Tim LaCastro. Those seem to be the best base stealers and fastest players for pinch run situations or just overall if you're going for a quick, speedy leadoff hitter in franchise mode. So that's where we're going to leave it off. Just a video to bring you guys some information on players to look for for your franchise. And that has been the fastest players in MLB The Show 20 and the best base stealers in MLB The Show 20. I'll see you next time. Peace.